Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Adam here. In this lesson we're going to discover the magic of dynamic XML PHP files. For those of you who are not fully comfortable with it yet, I've done a few tutorials on this at Develop PHP that are in text tutorial form, and maybe a few people haven't stumbled upon them yet, or maybe a few people saw the scripts and said, well, that looks kind of complicated. I'm going to try and dispel the whole thing in this video series and make sure that you guys fully understand how this works. So basically it's a PHP file that renders out nice clean XML. It's almost like it's perpetrating as an XML file. So you can then feed that PHP file into whatever XML processing software or applications that you have that are fed from XML. Now before I start the lessons and give away any scripts that you guys can go and snatch up from the site, I want to explain one more thing. You can see the little magician here who's rendering out the magic XML files. He says it requires no updating. Once you create your magic XML file, it runs and it will bring in all the newest data without requiring updating from anybody. Nobody will have to touch the XML file once it's created correctly. It's easy to create and implement once you understand just a few things and it's ideal for flash rendering out XML uh, through MySQL database results and many many more things any kind of software or application that feeds itself from an XML file this can be used for and instead of saying myxml.xml you just feed in myxml.php and it gets seen as XML Okay, so let's look at the most useful scenarios of implementation for this kind of coding. Here's your client and here's you. You made a client a cool application that is driven through XML file and you wanted to always grab the most current information dynamically from the server. This is perfect for that. Or if you're a developer creating XML apps for your own site, and you don't really have clients that you work with you just kind of concentrate on maximizing your own sites and you want a little more dynamics out of your XML then this is a good way to do it use PHP to render out XML through loops so the first thing I'll do in lesson one here is I'm going to show you how to create dynamic photo gallery XML files since PHP can just peek inside of any folder that you designate see what kind of files are inside of it the name of the files how many there are uh, since PHP can do all of that dynamically we can have PHP be the brains and be the system of rendering out the XML since it has those abilities so if we go to develop PHP this is in the PHP course right here PHP course if you click that you'll see all this stuff in here and down near the bottom it says working with files folders and directories the very last tutorial there is all about opening and reading directory folder contents dynamically using PHP. If you click on that, you'll see I give a nice little example about how to make a loop that renders out every image within the file, within a folder, any folder that you designate. So we can get a count and we can also display every one of those images within a loop. <clears throat> so, let's close that page and let's open the file that I was able to render out this XML file see this source okay, let me close this one and show you the actual page when you run the script you're just gonna see a blank page like this it's just gonna look like a blank page to you what you have to do is view the source you right click view source and you'll see your XML nice clean XML you see that so what I've done is you can see the XML version and encoding type tag right there and then the XML starting tag right there and go down to the very bottom here's the XML closing tag now within the XML opening and closing tag you have picture tags so the picture tag set, right, set up right here and then there's a child node inside of the the picture node that has pick num and this one is one this one is pick num two, pick number three, pick number four, pick number five, and then it shows the pick URL, which could be sent into Flash or whatever for rendering out that image. And that's it's it's so simple, and that's how it works. 
So if any of you understand how XML works, you'll fully comprehend this lesson. If you don't understand how XML for, works in the first place, this is not the lesson for you. You should really understand how XML works before you jump into something like this. So now I'm going to show you the script that is actually making this possible. <clears throat> and here it is in Dreamweaver. And I'll zoom in on it the best I can so you can see the code. And I'm also going to have all of this code available at developphp.com. I'm just going to make a page that has all of this information in it with links to all of these files that you can just copy and paste and experiment with. You see, remember that picture tag that I was showing you? I had about 24 of them listed out in my XML, my magic XML file. And you can see there's only one picture tag in this script, but it's within a while loop. So what that does is within this while loop, every file that it finds in that folder, since PHP can go into any folder and see what contents is in that folder and display them, we can use that to render out nice clean XML. So we're rendering out picture node and child nodes of the picture node for pick num and pick URL. And you can have any information you want sent in there by setting up new child nodes. And if you don't know how to work with XML in Flash, I have tons of tutorials on that in the Flash tutorial section at DevelopPHP. The Flash video tutorial section at DevelopPHP, there's, there's quite a few tutorials about using XML to populate data in Flash. And if you see here, what we're talking about is creating dynamic photo gallery XML files. Lesson 2 is going to be creating dynamic MP3 player XML files. And then finally, lesson 3 that I'm going to cover and end the series with is rendering out MySQL database information into a nice clean XML which a few people quite a few people have asked me to uh, do a demonstration on that okay so let's look at that script one more time so here what we're gonna do is the first thing is we claim the content type to be XML which is not a very necessary feature if, especially if you're feeding this into flash but if you're using it for something that's more HTML based or JavaScript based you might want to claim the content type to be to be text XML and you can use the header function to do that so the next thing we do is we initialize the XML body variable because really at the end of the script you echo out the whole XML body for it to be rendered out as nice clean XML. But first we have to initialize that XML body variable and we put in the version and encoding type into the first part of the variable. Then we claim our directory where the images are located and mine were in a directory that was two parent directories up from where I had the script running so I had that dot dot slash dot dot slash saying go two directories up <clears throat> go two folders up but I'm just gonna remove those for you because you would probably run this file in the directory where your images folders are and then your tech icons would be there or whatever so I'm just gonna remove that tech icons too and your images folder can be whatever you want or say maybe on your server you have images folder and then you have gallery one and you want to search inside that gallery one folder to render out all of the items within that gallery one folder into nice clean XML so I'm gonna leave this just like this if you don't understand how to set up your directory structure how to go up parent directories look into folders then this lesson is also probably a little bit beyond you and you should learn a few things about how a server folder directory system is set up and how to navigate into folders and up into parent directories okay so most of you would be really comfortable looking at this saying okay I see exactly what he's doing there he's going into his images folder on a server and within that images folder there's a gallery one folder and within that gallery one folder is where all his JPEGs are listed that's exactly what that's saying so I'm looking into that folder and then what I do is I start compounding that XML body variable by using the period before the equal sign there which will make it not overwrite what is already in that variable it will just append to it it'll keep adding to it so we start the XML tag and you can see that this is not within the while loop the only thing within the while loop is 
one picture tag which can be rendered out a thousand times within that while loop but you want to make sure you start your XML tag outside of the loop then we just set up a directory handle to open directory and look inside of that directory that we specified directory handle is now a variable with that information then we create an incremental counter variable if it's needed and what this does is it increments every time within the loop every time this loop runs this I will get incremented so if it starts off at zero the first time it runs it'll become a one second time it's a two third time it's a three four time it's a four so it can kinda keep a count of what's going on and how many times or how many pictures are actually in the folder then we set the XML body to render out picture tag and you can see I already discussed all this so the XML body within the loop renders out a picture tag for each and every image within that folder no matter how many there are whether there's ten or whether there's a thousand you just have to write this in once and that's really what makes this so nice and then what you do is you close the if statement and what this if statement is saying is if this is a not a directory this file whatever file that it's looking at is not a directory because say within this gallery one you had another folder sitting in there called miscellaneous you don't want that to get picked up so if it is not a folder and if it has a dot jpeg extension then we render out a picture tag for it or the picture nodes for it in XML if it doesn't have a dot jpeg extension and if it is a folder then it won't get rendered out within the XML only if it's a picture and only if it's not a, a folder okay I hope that makes sense to you because that's exactly what it's saying it's not really hard to understand at all so if it's not a folder and if it has a dot jpeg extension then on only then we render it out then all we have to do is end the while loop right here close the directory close the XML tag and then at any point you echo out the XML body now I showed you what happens when we go to that page if you look at it online you're gonna see a blank page and you'll be like oh Adam script doesn't work view the source homie so once you view source you're gonna see your nice clean perfect XML you can see I only wrote my picture tag in once but it rendered out 24 times because there's 24 images within my tech icons folder okay so you, there's proof that it's working for you because I got this running on my server right now and uh, there's the script so that's all you need to know and I explained how every bit of this code works and like I said if you're not familiar with XML a little bit and you don't know how to really use XML this is not going to be handy to you at all this is for people who use XML within their applications okay so in the next lesson I'm going to show you creating a dynamic mp3 player XML and then the following one will be how to create a dynamic XML file using MySQL database results okay hope you're enjoying this series and we'll talk to you later bye